Hey everyone, I'm back in the studio um, after running around um, parts of my area to find some half dollars. Found another little score. I picked up $200 from a bank that rolls their own coins off their coin machine. And I had some more good luck. Let's take a look at what I got. Good luck, you say? You don't see any enders there. Well, here's the 200 and I just have them flip the other direction. There we have it. Three enders, three silver enders. One of them face up, that would be a 1964 90%er. So we have three on the get go out of 20 rolls. This should, based on the odds, be a great hunt. Let's dive right in. All right, so as we get into this, I do wanna show you that um, uh, the wrappers are a little bit different than the normal black rolls you get. I do have a box of um, what would be uh, Brinks rolls uh, from my area. And a lot of you are probably familiar with this black wrapper. These slightly different. And again, this bank rolls their own coins off their um, coin machine. And I usually have some great luck with that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, we'll loop you back in when we find something. I'm gonna leave those enders till the end. It is one. All right, kind of fooled me there. I thought I saw some rather coppery edges on it, but uh, it's a 40 percenter. So we uh, struck on our first one. That would be a 1968D. If you're trying to find it, there we go. Yeah, good looking coin. That's number one. We'll loop you back in when we find another. There we go. Roll number four, this one has a couple in it. Right there, smack dab in the middle. Well, actually, I think I got fooled. It only has one, but it's better than none, 1968 D. All right, we'll come back on the next one. Okay, roll number five, very next roll, we got ourselves another silver tucked away in here. Looks to be another 40 percenter. 1969D. All right, we'll come back if we find another one. Boom. Okay, two in this one. Looks like we may uh, have our first 90 actually pulled from. Of course, we know we have that ender. Okay, 40% are first. 1967. And what do we have here? 1964. There we got it. That first 90 percenter here of the rolls. It's a D mint mark. Okay, that makes five out of six rolls. We'll come back when we find the next one. There we go. All right, we're on roll number 10. Took a couple of... Uh, uh, skunks on rolls there, but we have one. 1966, not a 40 percenter. All right, let's try and uh, see if we can nab one of these live. All right, nothing else left in that. We'll go ahead and try to grab one here out of roll number 11. And we did. Good job there. Looks to be another 40 percenter. 1967. Should we try for one more? Let's do it. Let me sound check these. All right. Let's go after it in roll number 12. Can we keep that luck going? Looks like we have a 90 percenter, and this one kind of has a worn little edge to it. Kind of see that. What do we have? Got a Ben Franklin. Cool to see Ben join the show. Okay, 1951 Philadelphia. Maybe we can go for the trifecta here. Bring in a walking liberty. Heck, even a barber. Never found a barber. Uh, but I have found a seated liberty, and it was actually a, a Carson City Mint, too. Too bad it was in terrible shape, but still um, always exciting when you can find a Carson City minted coin. 
All right, looks like our luck run out here live. I'll come back when we find our next one. Rule number 14 provides. Got it? Almost an ender. It'll be a 1968D. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if we can go another one and get it in there. All right, nothing uh, in there via sound check. We'll go on to rule number 15. Let's see if we can keep this streak going, huh? Oh, wow. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That is amazing, assuming that dark one there, second from the end, and neither of them were enders either. That is awesome. Love it. All right, it was 1967, so we have six in here. That is simply amazing. They all look 40%, which I'm not complaining. A 1969 Denver. All right, moving on down the line, 1968D. Oh, that is too cool. 1968D again. All right. We got two pancake here. Pull them out together. A 1968D and a 1966. Wow. Can't believe that. That's uh, getting up there. I found eight in a roll before. Uh, that's the max I've ever I've ever got. So just amazing there to open it like that. We'll go again. That was really good luck. Uh, so this is now roll number 16. And it has two. Almost an ender once again. And then right here, that one looks to be 40. 1968D. And we come down here second to the end, 1969D. All right, well, it's working for us. Let's go ahead and keep going, and then we'll reset for uh, those enders there as that will be the final three rolls that we have. Uh, this paper is just, it's not normal. It's really thick, really thick stuff, and it's uh, hard to tear into. These are some tight rolls. Three. That is awesome. And I think they're all 40s. Let's go into them. 1967. Drop that one down. 1967 and what do we have here another 1967 okay only thing left are three enders here we go we have uh three enders two uh with the reverse and then on the obverse we have a 1964 90 percenter i'm gonna leave that one last uh, hopefully that will be some good luck and we'll go into a couple of these that we don't exactly know what they are i have a hunch this one's a 40 based on um the toning on it It looks similar to some of the 40s that have come out so far and you know look at that edge it definitely appears to be 40 percenter in my book you never know until you look. All right, 1968D. Okay, only one in that roll. See a little bit of a thicker edge, we'll check it. You never know if you can find a proof, it's not. All right, let's move on. Get this other uh, reverse, just the one. The other one is gonna be clad. All right. Okay, also a 40 percenter, also the only thing in the roll, 1969 Denver. Okay, we have uh, one more, let's get to it. Way to close on a 90 percenter, the other side, nope. All right. Just the one, all right, so we had uh, our busiest rolls were Kind of in the middle with no enders, but yeah, that is definitely a blinging 1964 ring of death on it. A little gunked up. 
All right, everyone, very happy with how this one ended up. We did have three enders out of 20 rolls. Um, if you looked at the odds, it was said we should have come out of here with about 30 silvers. And you know what? We're not too far off. We did end up with 23. 20 of those were 40 percenters, ranging between 1966 and 1969. We had two on the 66. We had six on the 67. And we also had eight on the 68 and four on the 1969s. We did have two 90% Kennedys, both 1964 Denver. And we have a 1951 Ben Franklin. Ben decided he wanted to join the party tonight. So that's great to see. I actually think I need this one for uh, my Ben Franklin collection. So that's great to see. Always great when you can get 23 silvers like that. Let me know if you found... Uh, any great scores lately, again, I seem to have my best success on banks that either um, roll their coins off the machine or they are loose. I also had a bag of loose halves that I did have uh, along with this, just shy of $1,000 from a bank, and I got three silvers out of it. Can't complain about that, but uh, I didn't want to film it all here. So um, please, please smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, hope you like the video, and we'll check back in at the next time I find myself another little collection dump. Happy hunting.